Hey everyone, welcome to Friday, September 5th. This is the Patient Attraction Podcast. Today we're going to look at how early marketers turned using toothpaste into a habit that continues to this day. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Colin Receiver, and if you frequent this podcast, you know I love history. And today I want to talk about the history of toothpaste marketing, and it's actually pretty remarkable. In the early 1900s, there were very few Americans that were brushing their teeth. But there was one guy named Claude Hopkins began marketing a revolutionary toothpaste that tasted minty and tingled in your mouth. It was called Pepsodent. Now, Hopkins was one of the great marketers in the history of marketing. He developed a two-step formula that's still used today in marketing. Find a cue and define the rewards. Hopkins marketed early Pepsodent as a way to remove the feeling of the plaque film that people feel on their teeth. He pointed out the film made people's teeth look dingy and said millions of Americans were getting bright white smiles thanks to his product. This appealed to their vanity and their disgust emotions. It's an example of a principle that you probably already know. If you want to change people's behavior, appeal to their emotions. So if you want people to stop avoiding the dentist, appeal to their fear, their vanity, their envy, their pride, or their disgust. The history of toothpaste marketing is actually very interesting and goes far beyond the story of Pepsodent. I might return to this in a future podcast if we have time. If you found this interesting, shoot me back an email uh, or add a comment below on this YouTube video, wherever you're watching it at. I'd love to use your comments in a future podcast as well. Until next time, keep moving forward.